Hey guys, before we get into the video, I wanted to let you know about the Ask a Pro section of our Discord. You might have heard us tell you about the rating guarantee that comes with a skill capped sub. But for $4.99, you also get access to on-demand help from trusted rank 1 players in our Discord server. If you want to learn more about skill caps, be sure to stick around for more information at the end of this video. Without wasting any more time, we've watched several hours of low-rated enhancement shamans and we are noticing one huge mistake. The ability seems easy to use on its surface. How could anyone mess it up? Today, we're going to show you why you might be using Chain Harvest improperly. And to do that, we're going to be showing low-rated gameplay and comparing side-by-side -side to rank 1 players. First things first, let's get a quick overview of the ability itself. The reason why Enhancement Shamans pick Venthyr is due to the immense power Chain Harvest has. It's a multi-purpose spell that can be used to land kills if your target is on low HP. It can also be used for its healing aspect. This is great for countering offensive cooldowns or if your team is about to die. Using Chain Harvest in these two ways is essential for playing like a rank 1 Enhancement Shaman, so let's see how low-rated players mess it up. Using Chain Harvest for these two reasons will be essential to making good use out of it, but it looks like our low-rated players make common mistakes with it. Let's kick things off by looking at a 1600 rated Enhancement Shaman upload and how they use Chain Harvest early on against the enemy team. Here, our Shaman uses Chain Harvest offensively, but let's pause for a moment and see if you can tell why this might have been a mistake. A big reason why this was bad was due to the fact that the enemy team isn't even close to dying. When using Chain Harvest for pressure, you mainly use it in order to try to kill your enemy low on HP. It is able to deal a huge amount of burst damage, meaning it ideally should be used as a finisher to catch your opponents off guard. Since they were all relatively high on HP, there was no way this Chain Harvest was going to take someone down during its global. Another reason why this was bad was due to the enemy Holy Paladin already having his Avenging Wrath up, which allows him to heal a tremendous amount effectively countering the damage of your Covenant ability. This allows the Holy Paladin to easily heal his team back up, resulting in the offensive Chain Harvest not forcing anything significant. With that said, remember that there are essentially two ways to use Chain Harvest. If used aggressively, you'll be wanting to use it as a finisher when your target is low on HP. Or you want to use it to force big defensive cooldowns from the enemy team and use that advantage to snowball a win later on. The second way to use it is by keeping your teammates alive during high pressure situations. This usually happens during enemy offensive cooldowns or simply if they are in danger of dying. Chain Harvest is a convenient way to deal with high burst damage without needing to burn other major defensive cooldowns. It can also be matchup dependent, so let's explore how it can be used against a unique comp in 3v3. Here we have an example from a 1400 rated shaman against an Affliction Warlock team. This is another case of Chain Harvest being used at a poor time in an offensive manner. You can see that the Warlock had unending resolve up at the time, being their biggest defensive cooldown. This reduces the damage Chain Harvest deals significantly, which should never be used in this situation unless it could finish off the Warlock. If our Shaman would have waited a few seconds for Unending Resolve to end, they could have dealt significantly more damage. But that isn't the biggest problem here. The bigger problem is matchup knowledge, as typically, you should save Chain Harvest defensively against Affliction Warlock teams. This is due to the power of Dark Soul dealing immense multi-target damage, which Chain Harvest can deal with quite efficiently. This will prevent your healer from needing to use their CDs to keep your team alive. Dark Soul has a 2 minute cooldown, but it can be countered by simply trading Chain Harvest, which can be used as a cooldown matching defensive. Not only does the Warlock survive, but he gets to pop his Dark Soul later, which ends up killing the Enhancement Shaman's team. If they had saved Chain Harvest defensively, it could have saved their team from demise during this deadly offensive cooldown. But instead, the burden fell entirely onto the healer who was unable to keep up. In another example from a 1500 Enhancement Shaman, we see a Chain Harvest being used during a Red Paladin's Wings. Looking at what we saw earlier, do you guys think this was a good use of this spell? This was a little bit tricky as generally, using it defensively against a Red Paladin during their offensive cooldowns is a good trade. Having 2 minute wings up as well as Seraphim together with a Survival Hunter's cooldowns typically means huge damage is coming. However, the Warrior has already used a ton of strong peels against this Red Paladin, using Duel and chaining it with this arm, which reduces the Paladin's pressure by a ton onto the Enhancement Shaman. The Resto Druid also used Ironbark, further reducing the pressure of the enemy team and increasing the Druid's healing on the Shaman, which means that during this exact moment in time, Chain Harvest wasn't really needed to survive. Instead of using it here, it could have been saved later on once Ironbark fades in case we need to quickly recover HP. 
Ideally, you shouldn't be overlapping Chain Harvest with other cooldowns, but instead, you want to space it out with other team defensives so you always have a defensive response. Now, we can show you how a multi-rank 1 Enhancement Shaman makes proper use of Chain Harvest in high-rated arena games. In a Turbo Cleave Mirror, Chain Harvest can be used defensively or defensively depending on the situation. Here, Aviness is caught in a stun whilst Doomwinds is up on the enemy Shaman, which will result in being under a lot of pressure. Aviness continues to take heavy pressure, dropping low through heals on himself due to the big pressure from the enemy Turbo, especially now since the enemy Warrior pops his Peer of Bastion. The enemy team have used two powerful 1-minute cooldowns onto Aviness, and now he's dangerously close to being in execute range. Because of this, he busts out his Chain Harvest in order to sustain his HP, as well as dropping the enemy Enhancement Shaman quite low. This was mainly a defensive Chain Harvest, which again was one of the ways we told you to use this ability. Healing yourself to keep you from death or preserving other big defensive cooldowns can be an excellent use of Chain Harvest, especially since his partners didn't have their own CDs to keep us alive. Saving yourself in this way can be applied to any matchup where you or your teammates are on the brink of death, so be mindful of your team's HP and what cooldowns are available in order to know if you need to trade it out defensively. As an added bonus, not only did this sustain the Shaman's HP, but it also forced the Iron Bark on the enemy Enhancement Shaman, opening up kill opportunities in the near future. Here is another example showcasing Zipai, a multi-rank 1 tournament player. In this example, the enemy Hunter has no strong defensive cooldowns available, as well as the enemy Priest not having access to Trinket. This opens them up to a scenario where they could kill the Hunter if they have big pressure as well as crowd control on the enemy Priest. Zipai pursues the Hunter, gaining pressure during the Spear of Bastion and ends up wind shearing the Priest on a mind control. The reason why this is a good shear is not only to free himself of CC, but more importantly, Zipai can now cast a Hex on the Priest without it breaking to Shadow Word Death. Landing this will create a big chance for Zipai to win this game. He's able to land the Hex and due to the Hunter being low on health, unleashes his Chain Harvest, making sure not to use it into major defensive CDs. By using it as a surprise execute, our Shaman was able to catch the Hunter off guard and score a cheeky kill. Since it was a guaranteed kill during this setup, Chain Harvest was excellent to solidify the win before the Hunter could potentially kite away to buy time for his Priest to come out and heal him. When you are sure you can guarantee a kill, then using Chain Harvest like this can act as an execute mechanic, taking down most of their leftover HP when they are low. This can help into any matchup where you may struggle to get kills and if you know you can win the game with a low Chain Harvest. Let's recap the best ways to make optimal use out of your Covenant ability. Chain Harvest is essentially used in live or die situations. What we saw at low ratings is that Enhancement Shamans are sometimes throwing their Chain Harvest without any offensive purpose. It shouldn't ever be used offensively if the enemy team has major defensive cooldowns popped or if they are super high on HP. Instead, you should look to use it offensively as a pseudo-execute. Because it deals so much upfront damage, it can easily catch opponents off guard, especially when they don't have defensives or if they are critically low on HP. But more often than not, Chain Harvest should be used defensively. What we saw in our earlier examples is that low-rated Enhancement Shamans aren't recognizing its defensive value. In some matchups, it can be used as a way to preserve major defensive cooldowns. If you aren't using it as a way to match enemy CDs, you might be burning unnecessary defensives in the process. Learning to deal with pressure is only one of hundreds of tips and tricks you can learn from other guides over at skillcaps.com. For the low price of $4.99 a month, you can get instant access to all these top video guides that are proven to increase your rating. We're so confident in your ability to improve that we even offer a full money-back guarantee if you don't gain at least 250 rating while actively using our website. There are over 600 world-class guides that you'll have access to during this time for the same price as a Tier 1 Twitch subscription. So if you want to take your gameplay to the next level, check out skillcaps.com slash wow today. Alright guys, that covers this guide on low-rated mistakes for Enhancement Shamans. Hopefully, you now know how to use Chain Harvest more effectively, whether it be for offensive or defensive purposes. As always though, thank you for watching.